Candace Ansley here from Team Music Insider, and today I'm with Greg Marks. What's up, guys? So, Greg, you started your music career at a very young age. What inspired you to try music? So I first started with playing guitar. I was inspired by the Jonas Brothers a long time ago. And then my guitar teacher actually told me that I have a really good voice. And I actually loved singing and playing guitar and stuff. So I really like put it into consideration and decided I wanted to do that for the rest of my life. And I'm so glad I'm doing that right now. That's awesome that you found your passion. For sure. How would you... Yeah. How would you describe yourself in five words? Oh my god. Funny definitely is one of them. Um, Genuine. I, I really like to be genuine and like, there's a lot of fake people, it's straightforward, 100%. Um, another one would be, um, <laughs> flirty. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I'm flirty. And I'm always like down to do stuff, so I don't know, like, spontaneous. And, um, talented. Those are good ones. Yep. How would you describe your musical style? Musical style. I mean, I I grew up listening to things like R&B and pop, and which like Neo, Usher, and all that stuff. So I really like that my, that kind of music, and that's what I kind of interpret into my own original music. Although I do different stuff, I have my lane, which is more urban R&B, like pop. And obviously, I love to dance, so I make sure the beats are like bumping and like super fun, so we can all dance and the crowd can get super high. And the shows are always super fun, so it's not like. Like boring, but at the same time, I have to slow it down and sing to a few girls. So that's cool. What artists do you look up to right now? Oh, God, there's a lot of those. I mean, I always grew up looking up to uh, people like Chris Brown, Neo, Usher. Lately, um, the creativity of Justin Bieber. I grew up listening to Michael Jackson and watching his performance skills. I, I noticed when Michael Jackson was off stage, he was very humble and quiet, and then as soon as he got on stage, adrenaline, confidence, everything kicked in, so that's really like the things I look forward to as an artist myself. So, Bieber, Leo uh, Usher, Jason Derulo, the, uh, Justin Timberlake, I'm sure I love Justin Timberlake. And yeah, that's about it. What? Can you tell us a little bit about your new song that just came out? Uh, 808. Well, 808 was recorded actually like, almost two years ago, and it was a song that kind of kept on hold. But it was one of my favorite songs I ever recorded, and I just like it. it was like so such so such a joy actually recording it, and I had such a vision for it, and I'm so glad to put that vision into action with our team, Parallel Entertainment, and my awesome 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 parents who legit any thought or dream I had, they're like let's do it, and they're super su supportive and. Uh, I was super excited about this whole project. I think it's going to do well. I'm going to go perform it everywhere I can and get the song out there. So I'm super thankful for everyone who came part of this uh, release party. And thank you for coming. Oh, yeah, no problem. Can we expect any other new music soon? Oh, for sure. I have a new EP uh, on the way. Uh, I have like about six or seven songs that I finish and I'm always recording new music. I'm trying to keep it updated for you guys. So that's going to be coming out very soon. We have a lot of cool promotion plans behind what I'm doing right now. And uh, just stay tuned. I promise you guys that this stuff is coming. And I can't wait to share it. So you just performed your new song, 808. What was it like performing that song? So they played the music video first. And the audio was a little low, but I was like, you know what, let's get it turned up in here. So I played the song, got up on the uh, stage, and I was just like, let's get it. Like, the crowd loved it. We did the dance moves and everything, and then at the end, we had the whole squad, the Bomb Diggs, Carson, Maxo, jump up on stage, and we just got lit together. To the, the crowd loved it, so I'm super excited to see like what is going to come with this new project. So we'll just pray. What's your favorite, <laughs> What's your favorite song to perform live? My favorite song to perform, uh, definitely 808 because it's the most fun up tempo song. We have some cool choreo to it. Um, too late's cool too, but my favorite eight is 808. And then of covers, definitely work from home. That's like the jam, literally. I love like just we go work from home, hey, and then I, I I do my twist like girl gotta work, gotta work for me, sing. It's like super fun. I feel like the crowd loves that song. I don't know. It's my mommy. Awesome. Yeah. So the music video just came out, like you were saying. Can you tell us what inspired that music video? So, uh, I was in New Jersey, New York, and Philadelphia that weekend. I was um, I was doing a performance in New Jersey, a meetup in New York, and yeah, we we did we did the performance and uh, meetup. She keeps calling me. So. <laughs> 
She, uh, we, we did a performance in New Jersey and we did the um, meet up in New York at Buffalo Wild Wings. And after that, we, um, we reached out to a videographer and he said, I have a slot next week to film the music video you guys would like. And we're like, well, we're already out here, so might as well go and do it. So yeah, basically we went to Philadelphia. Uh, Lucky Strike got us on board and let us use their spot for a little bit. So we got to film all our scenes there. And after we filmed the music video in Philadelphia, my boy Jacob Sartorius had a show in Philly, which is the All My Friends Tour. So we got to go out there and, and go backstage and have fun with them, which also inspired the Bomb Bakes to come to, uh, to this show. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Does your fan base have a name? Uh, well, I'm thinking of a few different names right now, but I want to let my fan base create like, a name that really flows that they like. I, I don't want really to choose it for them, but I haven't gotten to the point where they have their own name. So we're waiting for that. If you guys know any suggestions for like a fan base name, I'd love to tell you guys my supporters right now, but I know that we can come up with something super creative. So if you guys can, spam my social media with it, and I'll, and I'll put that on my bio and everything, and that would be the new designated name for the fan base. How do you want your relationship to be with your fans? Well, I'll, at this point right now, I don't have that many fans, but we're working for that, and I'm grateful for every single supporter I have. And I'd love to make sure I have, like, one um, one moment of like a connection with the fans. Like I look them in the eyes, tell them thank you for coming, and make sure I say thank you to the parents as well, because the parents love that, I appreciate that. So I, I appreciate them as much as they appreciate me, and I'm like, super blessed. Yeah, so, but, but I read this thing that said, uh, you, you meet this person, and you remember them for the rest of your life, and they forget about you after 30 seconds. And that really broke my heart, because it's true, that they, they look for the moment to meet you and then they remember that the rest of your life but you forget it. So I make sure I try to remember every single face I can. And if you guys know that, like, if you guys have been to my older shows and been here today, I like, recognize you guys and be like, oh hey, I saw you guys at this. Like, I love to make you guys feel like you're, you're remembered and like, I remember you guys, which I definitely do. Oh, that's awesome. I talk a lot, sorry guys. Why well, not? It's totally fine. What was the craziest fan encounter you've had? Craziest fan account encounter. So I went to Palm Springs, uh, Palm Desert with Carson. It was my birthday, I think it was like my 15th birthday or something. So we went, it was so much fun. We had like the time of our lives. Carson posted a vlog about it. And um, uh, basically, we ran into a few fans there. And I never knew that on vacation I was going to run into a few fans. So that was super awesome. I got to like save us up. And, uh, I think that them in the vlog, but they were actually from here, so when I saw them at the mission, they were like, oh, we were at Palm Springs, and I was like, no way, that's so awesome. Like, oh, that was that's the craziest cool. thing to come to. What social media platform do you use most to stay connected? Um, my favorite social media platforms are Instagram or Snapchat, but I'm always on Instagram, like, refreshing my feed, looking, I read every single comment ever posted every day. So, yeah, that, that's how I work with my Instagram, like, like, I make sure I like every single picture that you guys post and I'm very active with you guys on Instagram and a lot of you guys know that. And Snapchat is really cool because I, I feel like I can take them wherever I go. You know? I just forget to do it a lot. But yeah, I look to like put my Snapchat on public sometimes and talk to the fans and stuff. So those are the two main social medias I was most. What's an average day for you look like? Average day? Well, average day would seem like chilling and watching TV, but an average day for me is Wake up, focus, do your, go to school, come back, I go to primary school, and um, work, 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 no matter what, like just always working, focus on the music, posting pictures, posting music plays, recording new music, filming new stuff, and always creating new content for you guys. Like this past week, I, I haven't been in school, like at all, because I've been working so hard on this, so I'm super super glad it, it, um, it happened, but that's like the average day. A non-average day would be a day like today where we're actually like performing and it's super cool, but my life is revolved around music, so I, I'm, I'm super happy about that. Like, that was my dream, and my dream is coming too. For sure. What do you like to do in your free time? My free time? So, I'm, I should be doing homework. But I sit <laughs> on my desk, and I open up Logic and start making new beats and recording new songs and stuff like that, so that's what I do in my free time. I also love to grab my scooter and go out and hang out with Parsons and, and Hayden and stuff like that. We love to like just chill and just be stupid, be kids sometimes, but other than that, just like focus on the work. What's the best thing that's come out of this career? 
the best thing is having all the supporters and having, uh, being able to do what I love most and show the people that always love me that whatever I'm doing is working and I love them. There's nothing else I'd rather be doing. The people who tell me that I can't happen, I'm like sh showing them that how much I'm appreciating where I'm at and the great things are happening with the race of God and my parents support me. So What's the biggest struggle? Biggest struggle? So it used to be posting a picture every day, but after I found a feed for myself, I take pictures everywhere. But um, biggest struggle would be school. I can't keep up with school. I'm so busy. I have like 30 minutes of off time. I want to relax. And there's schoolwork, like essays and labs and stuff, and I just like fall so behind. And I, I've always was like a really smart student. I was a gated student growing up. And now my grades are super bad. <laughs> if your life was a movie, what would be the title? If my life was a movie. So I go by a quote, um, and it's my own quote, so it's quoted by Greg Mars. I, 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 uh, I thought of it one day just thinking, I was like, um, let me try to remember it. My music is my passion, and my dream is to share it with the world. And I feel like that would be a perfect title for a uh, movie because it shows my passion and my love for the craft and what I do. And my dream, which is for the whole world to hear it, me being a positive example, showing people you don't need to do things like drugs and alcohol, stuff like that, because I'm, I'm super an advocate for it, being completely clean and always being positive. So that's what the movie would be about. Like just the struggles and never giving up and going after your dreams, because one day it's definitely going to come true. That would be like a movie I would watch. <laughs> yeah. Who would you want to play you? Honestly, before I started singing, I was acting, so I played myself. Okay. Which out, that would be really cool. But other than that, I don't know, I'd have to like cast a look like or something, but yeah, I'd usually just play myself. But what impact do you want to have on the music? Well, like I said before, I always like an advocate for never doing things like drugs or alcohol, staying clean, focus and never giving up. So that's what I want to show the world. I want to show the world that no matter what people said, no matter what happened in my life, people were succeeding and I was saying back, people were doubting me. I stuck to what I know, I stuck to myself, I, I stayed to myself, I didn't share with everything and try to go after other people and use other people for things. I, I focused on myself, worked hard, uh, had God behind my back, had my parents behind my back, had my team, and that hopefully one day this will happen, I'll get to uh, so share this this message with the whole world, but that's the goal. So that's that's, like, that's, that's what my whole career is about, doing what I love in a positive outcome. What goals have you set out for yourself? So I always have many goals and I'm reaching them slowly and slowly and I obviously have those big goals and I know I'm going to reach them one day but my, I never have limits on myself so every time I reach a goal I put a new goal, new goal, new goal, new goal and I'll never stop in the goal for my life. So I have goals that include getting the world to know me for who I am and my craft, um, buying my parents the first house, I mean, not the first house, buying my parents a house for the first time. Um, and being able to give back. I'm from Armenia. I was born in Los Angeles, but I'm Armenian and, and uh, Arabic, so I would love to give back to those countries and, and share what I, what I have gotten to them as well, because I'm sure that they're gonna, they support me and stuff. So that's my big, those are my big goals, and I'm sure I can achieve them. But I have little goals in between, like performing on the big stages and, and all that stuff. So. Yeah, hopefully everything works out for me. Yeah, I will. You'll get that for sure. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. How has this whole music career experience been for you? So, honestly, nothing like I imagined. I was growing up in Pasadena, California. That was where I was born. And I always thought it was going to be about going to Hollywood and being famous, but it's really a struggle. It's really people stepping on each other to get somewhere. And it's not easy. It just, it's about working hard. Um, yeah, it's not what I thought it was going to be, but I still love it. The music industry has been something like, that is not easy, but it's worth it. It's really passionate. So do you have any advice for aspiring music artists? Definitely. Um, I would definitely say, one thing that's really kept me going is, you've heard this a million times, but never give up. And there's been so many times where I sat in the shower crying, or talked to my mom, where like, it's not happening and it's not the time and you get like really discouraged but I want, you, I want to let you know that 
no matter what, keep doing what you're doing because everyone has their own time and season. And whenever God's will is for yours to come, it will come and you just have to learn how to maintain that and appreciate it and make something great out of it. And maybe right now it's not my time and season, but I know I'm gonna work as hard as I can until my time comes so I can share the world with the world what I have and keep it there, you know? Sure, yeah. Never have standards that no one is For sure. Yeah. Do you have anything you want to tell your fans? Uh, I want to say I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for all the support you guys gave me in this world. Like, it's crazy. I, I never knew I'd have another family that would really do everything. Take a bullet for me. It's, like, it's crazy. But I just want to say I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for all the support you guys give social media, my music and everything, and I promise I will never let you down. You guys can always look up to me. If there's no one to talk to, I'm here for you guys no matter what. And I can't read every single DM and comment, but you guys know that I love you guys so much. And um, I'm always here for you guys. And we're a family. Thank you again for doing this interview. Thank you. And I'll see you guys. Thank you so much for being a part of this. And yeah.